I'm proud to support this bill sponsored by my colleague, um, which would extend the mor mortgage forbearance period for residential homeowners for a period of six months. Um, homeowners across New York are struggling to pay their mortgage. Okay? The seasonally adjusted unemployment rate, once again, in New York is 14.5% as of last month. Homeowners are struggling to maintain their mortgage. Now, if we fail to take action to protect these homeowners with urgency, they risk foreclosure and homelessness. This bill specifically is for owner-occupied homeowners. If there's a financial hardship before COVID, guess what? The pandemic would put them even in a more financial hardship. So I know my colleague, uh, Mr. Goodell, was trying to differentiate, well, what kind of hardship this is? Is it a pandemic hardship or a hardship that seeded before? It's all the same. Let's say you lost your job before the pandemic and you were looking to get hired, let's say, at a hotel, because that's the industry that you know. Guess what? Now that the pandemic happened, you cannot even think about entering the hospitality industry. That puts you even into a deeper hole. Right now, New Yorkers who face job insecurities and income loss as a result of the pandemic should not have to face this public health crisis and be on the street and lose their homes that they worked so hard for. They worked like everybody else. They invested in their home like everybody else. And this is a time again, we should be thinking about working together because we all in this together. Okay. Um, my colleague also mentioned in terms of the liquidity of the state charter bank, if it is secure, um, he questioned that. And, and I, I understand there's concerns around the liquidity of the state charter banks. <clears throat> I'm a former banker, okay? I know how the system works. Our federal government will never let our banks fall off or collapse. We have been the first, actually the first industry that we bail out are typically the financial institutions. The banks will be fine. We have constantly bailed out the banks on the state level and the federal level, so they'll be fine. And I must say, uh, Mr. Speaker, I remember uh, way back when in 2008, when President Obama took office, um, and we had to deal with the home or mortgage financial crisis, everyone's home equity was deflated. We had this program called the Home Loan uh, Modification, which was in place um, because people were losing their homes. Um, but what we realized is that while we had put all those billion dollars in the bank, people were still losing their homes because the banks were saying, okay, um, don't pay for six months. We are gonna approve you for this home uh, loan modification program. Six months will come up and they say, okay, you're not eligible anymore. You gotta pay up all the six months and the interest rate. As a result of that, we, have the, we had the highest foreclosure rate in history. That was not fair to all those homeowners. Again, the banks were bailed out. What happened to these homeowners? They lost all their equity. They left their homes. Their whole life changed. So again, we're all in this together. We're finding ways we're gonna help the banks. We're gonna help the mortgagers. We're gonna help businesses owner-occupied investment properties, you name it. We're trying to help everybody because the way the system works is that we all got to work together. Um, I would just like to say that this legislation would extend Governor Cuomo's executive order 202.9 to require lenders to grant a six months forbearance period. And with the option to extend another 180 days to any borrower who certifies 
they have a loss of income during the COVID-19 crisis. This would include homeowners who already are struggling to make payments. I'm asking my colleagues to really look at this from a balanced perspective. We are gonna be voting on many, many other bills. This is part of the package, we talked about that. We're helping tenants, we're helping landlords, we're helping homeowners, we're helping um, commercial real estate um, properties. We are helping the whole gamut. When we think about this, we should think of this as a pause. Everything should stop, everything. Because anything that's affected in this whole process affects everyone. So I am urging everyone to look at this from a holistic perspective. And I know not everyone's a banker or understand the financial system. It's almost common sense. What do you do if you can't pay the mortgage because of this pandemic? What do you do? Do we, do we just foreclose every single, almost every single homes in the, in the United States or in the state of New York? What do you do? We are finding solutions. This is a first step forward. So again, I, I applaud my colleague for introducing this bill. The state charter banks, we're gonna work with them. We're hoping that this is a model for the federal banks because this is affecting all of us. And I would encourage Again, our colleagues to support this bill in protecting our New Yorkers from foreclosure and from being homeless. Thank you.